Good morning everyone and welcome to Ocean's Key. This is MSC's private island in the Bahamas. So this video will be the complete guide to what you need to know while you're here at Ocean's Key. In today's video, we will take a look at what this island has to offer. I will give you some tips and tricks and where to find the best beach to spend the day. I will show you where to get some food and some great snorkeling spots. Let's take a look. So as soon as you get off the ship, you are here at the Welcome Tower. They do have transportation for you if you don't feel like walking around. All you have to do is wait at the stop at the transport pavilion. And it is included because it is a private island. And in the block? Sure. Hey guys, how are ya? <laughs> You want to do any excursions for the day there's the rental and excursion pavilion right here so anything like that you would pick it up right here and there's little shops right over here we're actually in port here for two days so today and tomorrow and there's these houses over here people live here that maintain this island. If you get a chance, bring it back to me. Okay, please. no problem. <laughs> a lot you. of people don't, I guess. Oh, listen. That's annoying. And it's, yeah, because yeah. we got to take them in and then bring Oh, them no. Back okay. After. I'll bring it back for sure. The umbrella is $15 per day, not for both days. And you pick it up in that building. That's where you get like your kayaks and things like that. The first day we went to the Lagoon Beach and keep watching and I'll show you where to find the better beach with free umbrellas. It's a little bit of a swim out here. Across this bridge. As a part of the, the premium package over there, you can go on. We spent most of the day at the lagoon. It's a pretty nice area. Not the best for snorkeling. I went out, swam to the dock, and saw a couple of jellyfish and one little fish, but nothing really. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to the other side, right by the boat. There's a bunch of rocks, that's where I'll snorkel. The buffet is over here, but it's not open. I wonder because we got here at like one o'clock. Maybe tomorrow this will be open as a buffet. They have a food shack and they had some burgers, hot dogs, french fries, brownies, pasta salad. Not the best, a little disappointing, but if you are hungry and you don't want that, you definitely can go back on the ship if you want it. It's not too far. Later in the night, we have a light show, and thankfully we have a balcony view and we can watch it from our balcony, but you can go down to the beach and watch the light show. There's two show times, say hi. <laughs> There's two show times, nine o'clock and 10 o'clock, I believe. So right over here is the lagoon. So tomorrow we're gonna try this beach right over here, closer and we're gonna do snorkeling right over here. It's pretty cool that you actually are in port for the next day, because you don't usually get to get off the ship at nighttime, so now you can walk around and come back by I think 11:30. But having a balcony on this side is definitely a bonus. This view is so beautiful right now. The sun is setting. Yeah, we're getting ready for dinner, and then we're gonna check out the light show later on. the light show at night you can watch it from the top your balcony room if you have it or you can even come right here or you can go right to the beach so we're gonna continue this tour this is actually the next day today we're at the lighthouse beach it's the closest so it fills up fast beach does have free umbrella it's not as full as I thought it would be yet so there is a bunch of umbrellas available so my recommendation is come early if you want to get an umbrella they also have these beanbag chairs too oh yeah that's pretty nice nice sand nice water lots of space this does not feel like you don't feel crowded if you want to go to the lighthouse over there you can walk there they have a bunch of bars around they even had one by the lighthouse you can go up to the lighthouse as an excursion I believe it was $15 but if you want a view up that high you can just go to the top of your cruise ship and get a pretty nice view up there So 
So this is where they have the beach party at night also. If you are hungry, they have the beach shack right over here. You don't have to walk over to the buffet, which is open at 12. So I was just about to go to the water. I was just filming a couple of clips and this guy's like, hey look, there was two stingrays right here by the water. So I'm assuming by the by the rocks, it's gonna be better snorkeling. Even there was tiny little fish right here as soon as you step in. So I guess it's time to go in the water. They do have ropes so you can't swim too close to the ship but there's plenty of fish to see and the water was not too deep there. It was a great little snorkeling spot. After swimming and snorkeling it's time for lunch. The second day we wanted to see what the buffet had and it did have a lot more options than the food in the shack truck. So going for a walk now to find the buffet and just it's so nice like just they got these speakers along the whole pathway listening listen to music and just relaxing on this beach. I'm really enjoying it. This Ocean's Cay is really nice. It's actually better than I thought. It's time to eat. Let's see what the buffet has. So they do have some desserts, brownies, cookies cornbread then you go over to the fruits watermelon mango and then we'll hop right over to the burgers cheeseburgers hot dogs and french fries msc's french fries are always so good we move on over to the jerk chicken the barbecue rib and there was some fish they got some rice and corn and some fried plantains and this is everything i got on my plate so this is what we got for lunch from the buffet Overall, the buffet was a lot better than the shack trucks. There was more options. I enjoyed it a lot more. And then we went on an amazing walk around the island, and I think Leo enjoyed it too. <laughs> I fell asleep. Closer you got to the spa, the music changed. It was very, very calming. I loved it. And this is exactly what I heard. It's a lot calmer back here, but the music, no people. They do have restrooms and change rooms and showers if you do need. Oh, and going back to the ship, they have a pile of shells. Don't try to bring them back with you. They will take them once you get back on from the security check. I enjoyed it the second day a lot more than the first day. So. Over there is the lagoon. This is the beach. I like it a lot better. Like snorkeling by the rocks, the sand, the water a lot more clear. Beautiful, you got the lighthouse. Beautiful view. I enjoyed this island. It is a great stop. If you're looking for more of an adventure, you might not find it here. There is some uh, excursions you can do. Overall, I enjoyed the two days here. And if you love the beach, you will enjoy this stop. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.